Hi guys, good morning. This is Mel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Today, we're going to talk about rounding decimal numbers to the nearest hundreds and thousands. Read and analyze the given problem. Observe the position of the answer in the number line. Diana climbed a 314-meter hill. If there are 1,000 meters in 1 kilometer, what part of the hill did Diana climb? Round to the nearest hundreds. To determine the part of the hill that Diana climbed, we need to change the meter into kilometer. Since 1,000 meters is equivalent to 1 kilometer, then in fraction form, it becomes 314 over 1,000. Now, alam naman natin na pag fraction, ang equation na gagamitin natin ay division. So, 314 divided by 1,000 is equivalent to 314 thousands. Now, observe the number line. From the diagram, it is easy to see that 314 thousands is nearer to 310 thousands than 320 thousands. So if you're going to round off 314 thousands to the nearest hundreds, then it becomes 31 hundreds. So, pag sinulot nyo yan, 0 0.31. To round decimals to hundreds and thousands, let us consider these steps. First, we have to identify the digit to be rounded off. Second, inspect the digit to the right of the required place. If the digit is greater than 5, add 1 to the digit at the required place. If the digit is less than 5, retain the digit at the required place. Then drop all the digits to the right of the required place. Look at this example. 314 thousands. If we were going to round it off on the nearest hundreds, then we would have to consider first the number to be rounded off. So, ano ba yung digit na nasa hundreds place? Ang, digits na, ang digit na nasa hundreds place ay number 1. So, sabi dito, second step is to inspect the digit to the right of the required place. Ang digit na nasa right ng number 1 I number 4. Now, uh, this, the uh, following step said that if the number is greater than 5, we have to add 1 to the digit at the required place. Kung mas mataas daw yung number sa right, sa 5, we would have to add 1 to the digit of the required place. If the digit is less than 5, kung mas mababa naman sa 5, we would have to retain the digit at the required place, then drop all the digits to the right of the required place. So since 4 is less than 5, that means we would have to retain the number 1. So ang uh, rounded off ng 314 thousands to the nearest hundreds would be 31 hundreds. Or 0 0.31. Another example is 3,148 If we're going to round it off to the nearest thousands, so first, identify the digit to be rounded off. Ang digit na kailangan nating around off is number 4. Second, inspect the digit to the right of the required place. Ang nasa kanan na ng number 4 ay 8. So, the digit is greater than 5. So, we would have to add 1 to the digit at the required place. 
So if we're going to round it off to the nearest thousands, the answer would be 315 thousands or 0 0.315. So yung 4, gagawin natin siyang 5. Kasi yung nasa kanin niya is 8, which is greater than 5. So for our learning task 1, copy the table below in your notebook, then round each item to the nearest hundreds and thousands. So for our first example, 10 and 597 thousands. So if we're going to round it off to the nearest hundreds, ang digit na nasa hundreds place is 9, at ang nasa kanan niya ay number 7. So, since 7 is greater than 5, we would have to add 1 to 9. So, ang answer, if you're going to round it off to the nearest hundreds, would be 10.60 or 10 and 60 hundreds. Now, if we're going to round it off to the nearest thousands, so, ang, na, ang digit na nasa thousands place natin is number 7. And since wala naman tayong digit sa kanan, ibig sabihin, ang ating um, round off to the nearest thousands would be the same. So, it's 10.597 or 10 and 597 thousands. Okay? So, number 2, we have 20 and 2,553 ten If we're gonna round it off to the nearest hundreds, ano yung digit na nasa hundreds place? It's number 5. So, uh, 5, ang nasa kanin niya ay 5 din. So, by the rule, kapag 5 yan, mag a pa rin tayo ng 1. Okay? So that means if we're gonna round it off to the nearest hundreds, it will be 20.26 or 20 and 26 hundreds. Round it off naman natin siya to the nearest thousands. So ano yung nasa thousands please? It's number 5. At ang, since ang nasa kanin ng number 5 ay 3, mas mababa siya sa 5 or it's less than 5. So we would just have to retain the digit on the rounding place. So, if we're going to round it off to the nearest thousands, the answer would be 20.255 or 20 and 255 thousands. Para naman sa ating learning task 2, get the quotient of each item up to the nearest 10 thousands place. Then, round the decimals to their nearest thousands. So, 45 divided by 8 is equivalent to 5 and 6,250 ten thousands. So, if we're going to round it off to the nearest thousands, ano yung nasa thousands place? It's number 5. Ano yung nasa kanin ng number 5? 0, which is less than 5. So all we need to do is retain the number or uh, the, retain the number on the rounding place. So the, the, the answer would be 5.625 or 5 and 625 uh, thousands. Okay? Number 277 divided by 9, we have 8.5555 or 8 and 5,555 ten thousands. So, ang digit na nasa um, thousands place would be 5. Ang nasa kanin niya is 5. So, kagaya na sinabi ko, by the rule, kapag 5 yan, mag a pa rin tayo ng 1 to the rounding number. So, the answer would be 8.556 or 8 and 556 thousands. Para naman sa ating learning task 3, solve the given problems below, write the answers in your notebook. Number 1, what is the smallest decimal in hundreds rounded 
two are five tenths or 0 0.5. So first, alamin muna natin ano ba yung mga decimal numbers na kapag round off mo ay 0 0.5 ang lalabas. So these are the decimal numbers that if you're gonna round off to the nearest tenths, ay 5 tenths yung lalabas or 0 0.5. Okay, that's so, ano ba yung smallest decimal dito sa mga to? Ang smallest decimal would be 45 hundreds. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something. And um, see you on my next video. Goodbye!